we have been doing this sort of series uh, when I used to chair the caucus uh, on on governance in in parliament. We've got people like Jomo and uh, Raja Rasia, quite critical of government policies, but to at least um, give a different dimension, uh, viewpoint, so that we can uh, rethink some of the standard norms. We are stuck to the old order, whatever you may say, new normal or not. Ihan talked about the protracted crisis. Nobody disputes that now. I mean, it's not going to be resolved next month or in two months. Even if it's resolved, as Nung Sari said, it would take time to take off. And uh, that's why precisely we realize that this um, problem has somewhat exacerbated a structural crisis, a larger problem which we have inherited for decades. Now, if we look at the Sustainable Economic Development Assessment, and people are uh, looking only at the GDP figures, I'm not too impressed, although I was finance minister at that time, because you have to look at the welfare of the people. I mean, uh, Afis, you mentioned it, all of you. I mean, at least um, the crux of the issue is the welfare of the ordinary men and women. Well, it's all about uh, what economics is all about. And sometimes economies, ministers, Benegara fail to take this into account. That when we decide on a policy, what, what uh, will uh, entail and, and uh, whether it will affect the livelihood and the welfare of the common rakyat. So I think, uh, view of the structural issue, we should then seize the opportunity uh, to uh, rebrand, to change uh, uh, what Chumpita talks about, gale of creative destruction. This is the time because there's n the new normal does not mean you make some minor adjustments but keep the old order in place.